Well, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Look at this. I'm Alex Steiniger. It's the largest event of its kind in Arizona history, featuring thousands of reptiles and amphibians and a whole lot more. And here to tell us what it is, is promoter Mark Wolfson and Lee Engel, along with a few of these little guys that you can see at the event. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks You're for welcome, us. Alex. It's such a pleasure. First, what am I holding here? You're holding a ball python, and this is not a wild type. Uh, this is a mutation called a piebald ball python. Mm -hmm. All the white uh, obviously would attract predators in the wild, so you'd never find this in the wild. Yeah. People have bred this type of snake and have created thousands of different varieties, and it is one of the most uh, commonly kept snakes in captivity. It's gorgeous, and it's calm, and it, and it really is. It would probably make a great pet. Now, we're talking about this really big, wonderful event that's going to happen. How long has it been going on? The Tucson Reptile and Amphibian Show is now in its 16th year. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had around 10,000 people at the show. Mm -hmm. And you people from all over the country are selling captive bred reptiles, supplies, reptile related jewelry, mm -hmm. artwork, anything reptilian. Right, and you're gonna have tons of animals to see there of course. And Lee, you're over there with a few uh, very calm friends. Who do you have with you? Right now I've got an Australian white's tree frog. These guys are, as you can see, one of the calmer frogs out there. They usually just stay on their hand like this. <laughs> They're also called Dumpy's tree frogs from their funny appearance. <laughs> And then down here, we've got two of the most commonly kept uh, pet lizards on the planet. These guys are bearded dragons. This little guy is going to turn into this girl. This is actually Kevin, our uh, beautiful bearded dragon that's at our <laughs> shop here in Tucson yeah. called Ever Evolving Exotics. You know, I think, has Kevin been on the show before? I feel like I've seen Kevin, or at least a similar looking guy to him. Well, he's a very common looking guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, <laughs> he's sense. never been on the show. <laughs> right. Very good. So would you say that these make good pets? Because a lot of people, they have a dog or they have a cat, but they never think to get something like this. Well, there are about 1% of households in the United States, yeah. maybe more, have reptiles as pets. And you think of a reptile as a pet, not like you think of a dog or a cat, but more <laughs> like a fish in an aquarium. Yeah. The advantage of reptiles is you can take them out of the water and play with them a little bit. Um, and as you can see, they're quite docile. They are, and it's quite a good fashion accessory too. I've had yes. it on my arm now, <laughs> and maybe I'll continue to have that uh, throughout the show. And so people have to wonder too, are you gonna have venomous animals there and can they buy them? And they're, are you gonna have alligators too? We are going to have a larger display of venomous snakes than the San Diego Zoo. Uh, there will be the deadliest snakes in the world from a half a dozen species of cobras, to mambas and taipans and tree vipers. Uh, we'll also have a petting zoo cool. with alligators, giant tortoises, giant monitor lizards. Uh, kids just have a blast at yeah. that. Perfect family event. There's going to be something for everybody. And, and Lee, I saw you go over there and sort of refresh your uh, <laughs> animal uh, that you have there. Who do you, who'd you bring? This is a crested gecko. They're from this tiny little island called New Caledonia. Uh -huh. um, they just, they don't have any eyelids, they lick their eyeballs, they're incredibly fun to handle, um, great for kids. This is pretty much an adult, they can definitely get bigger, but yeah. typically this is their personality. <laughs> look at the, look They've at the They've got, also called an eyelash gecko, because they're beautiful eyelashes, they, if you can they, zoom in. They have eyelashes, yeah, check it out. And it's little, uh, would you call them paws, or would you call them hands, what do you call those? Little gecko feet gecko tabs, feet? I guess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they have okay. very interesting feet in yeah. that they have these microscopic little hooks. Wow. They can climb straight up glass. Beautiful. So, of course, people can go to this event. They can have a great time. What's the big takeaway for people? What, what are they going to really learn when they go to this event? Well, they're going to learn a lot about reptiles. Mm -hmm. You can buy reptiles. About two-thirds of the show is people selling captive-bred only reptiles, yeah. nothing caught in the wild. And you'll learn how to take care of them uh, by from experts who yeah. actually breed them, <laughs> you know, what kind of uh, caging they require, what environments, light yeah. and heat and so forth. Uh, you're going to get a lot more information than you'd get at an average Petco. Right, right. This is going to be a one-stop shop for people to learn everything about these animals. And I just saw your your little gecko friend there. He there jumped goes. again. Uh, we didn't catch that this time. <laughs> but they're very <laughs> acrobatic, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And uh, so it's going to be a great time for people. How do they get tickets? And how do they? What should they do the day of? Uh, basically, the show is Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. this weekend from 
9.30 to 5 on Saturday, 10 to 4 on Sunday. Tickets are at the door, uh, pretty much cash only. Excellent. Uh, we don't have time to mess with credit cards and checks and all that. Yep, cash is easier, as always. Well, it's going to be a fantastic event, as always. It's bigger and better than ever. You guys, thank you so much for coming and, and sharing these beautiful, wonderful animals. I think I'm going to keep this one because <laughs> it's kind of uh, made friends with me here on my neck. So thank you guys again for coming. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. Alex. Of course. Now, if you haven't been, this is the year to go. The Tucson Reptile and Amphibian Show and Sale will take place this weekend at the Tucson Expo Center at the various times on your screen there, so take a look. For tickets and more information, please visit TucsonReptileShow.com.